I'm with Watchdog Smart Home Security here. Today we're going to install a door window sensor. So we're going to program it in. What we do is we're going to go right here. Down in the bottom right corner there's a little emblem there. You can click the icon, put in your installer code. And then up here in the top left corner you go to system configuration. Right now there's already a couple zones learned in here so we're going to look for an open zone. Looks like zone number 11 is open, so the first thing you do is you go to an open zone. You scroll down once, it's going to say sensor type. This is going to be in the dining room, so we're going to make it a 03 for perimeter instant alarm. Scroll down again, it's going to ask you for the equipment code. We're using a thin 2 gig door window contact, so we're going to make that a 0862 for thin door window contact. Scroll down one more time, it'll ask you for the serial number. You hit shift then learn and you open and close the loop on the transmitter twice and it'll auto program in there it goes okay now we have the serial number in there we're going to scroll down sensor equipment age new that's fine loop number auto learns in when you learn it in this way dialer delays enabled so right now we're at the voice descriptor and this is going to go on the dining room so we're going to hit insert 133 oops that's a uh, Over the dining. And then insert again. 187 for room and then insert 251 for window. So now it says dining room window on our keypad, which is what we want. We're going to scroll down to the next, which is voice chime. I like to make them a 01 for voice only. I don't like the ding dong. Press down one more time, it'll give you a summary and go ahead and hit edit next and in the bottom right hit end and then exit your panel will do a power cycle and then once it fires back up we'll open and close the loop and test it make sure it goes and then we'll go install it so it takes a second here to do a power cycle all right here it goes powering back up now Just check to make sure the transmitter learned it right. 